Hey guys, it's me, Phoenix. I have tried to get my energy back up to get back on. I miss you guys. I miss just the consistency of the way that I've been. I used to do my channel, and now it's just like I have to get that energy back. True emotions, Queen B. Yeah, secure, confident, boss bitch, career focus. That's kind of me right now. I've been focused on not necessarily a career, but yeah, I've been focusing on getting things together and completing things. And so memories are here. So if you were normally secure and confident and you know that you, I says boss bitch, but, and you're career oriented and career focused, whether queen, queen B can be queen of pentacles energy, that could be you just working on your craft, but also you know, with the Queen of Pentacles energy comes with you doing anything and everything when it comes to the past or um, not past. I'm saying that wrong. You doing anything and everything for somebody who you deem to be family or someone that you have a big uh, heart for. Um, and that is where sometimes our confidence, I'm not going to say go away, but I'm going to say it, you know, gets put on the back burner and it says, block spam call text so you could be at this point where you're blocking certain energies and certain in ener energies and I was going to say information but you're uh yeah somebody misses you um you know at the same time yeah they left you hanging and so with all the things um you're turning your back on this energy where at some point everybody would be able to find you and everybody would be able to have access to you but again blocked yeah so somebody doesn't have access to you because you block their energy um because they left you hanging and you don't need any closure you know anymore you don't need to um be able to even go after the memories it's all about you focusing on yourself if that makes sense so i'm going to clarify the queen bee the confident secure page of pentacles doing the work and this card also came out page of pentacles yeah three of wands you see what your future is going to be like if you continuously keep trying to do the work for everyone else somebody has to be able to show up for themselves and you can't help uh, that anymore and so the ten of pentacles is when it comes to the memories you want happy life happy wife or you want the ten of pentacles energy when it comes to excuse me you actually um just having uh, a foundation and long-term success and just financially being secure again the queen of pentacles is why i say that to you but at some point you have to do the work for yourself clarifying the ten of pentacles comes with the ace of swords and that's the clarity that you have to understand to discover um excuse me discover your own truths but you have to come up with that and to be able to soar in the process of you know having having and holding on to memories and knowing that that person will always have a place in your heart but ace of pentacles energy you have to be able to have the courage to go after the things that you want to do and to have the opportunities to manifest and to be abundant missing you is here uh yeah ace of pentacles ace of swords energy clarity and confidence uh when it comes to you know even though somebody is missing you the big factor of it is that they kept you hanging inside and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness you know this is you reaching a plateau um, I thought that was the five of pentacles, but it's the four of pentacles. You're reaching a plateau. You're bored. You're done. You're over this situation. And so no matter how much you miss them or they miss you, you have to work on yourself. I don't have my light on behind me, but lift you. Uh, they left you hanging. You have to work on yourself because they left you hanging. No contact. They left you on red. They didn't care about the, yeah, queen of pentacles. They didn't, I mean, excuse me, the queen of swords energy. They didn't care that you were at a point of being able to do anything for them or queen of pentacles you know um not having any boundaries and also um you know not being cold-hearted you were just in between because you love this situation you love this person place thing or whatever but they turned their back on you and you turn your back on them because they left you hanging queen of swords is what i'm clarifying right now um if you can hear it in my voice I'm just now starting to feel better. Uh, I've been congested. I've been, I lost my voice. I, you know, haven't been feeling good. This energy uh, has been kind of crazy. Um, and so, 
Yeah, hangman energy. This person left you hanging. Again, hangman energy. They left you hanging. So that's the reason why at some point you were conflicted with should you set any boundaries? Should you be cold hearted? And then at the end of the day, yeah, you had to turn your back, you know, turning your back because they left you hanging. And so that's the decision that you had to make. I'm going to clarify turning your back. Um, it was probably a hard thing to do, but at the same time, yeah, here it is. Uh, you had to walk away from the toxic energies, the devil energies. Um, the devil energy says, <clears throat> where is it at? Uh, let me see if I can find it. Um, I think it says something about, I, well, I can't remember, but anyway, uh, it's toxic. I don't know where it's at. It, I have it. I have the stands up there, but I really can't see because I don't have the light on over there. But this is being in a toxic environment. This is you actually, you know, understanding that sometimes you just have to be able to, uh, you know, understand where your weaknesses are. And that's the reason why you had to turn your back, especially what your weaknesses when it comes to love and this certain person, place, thing or situation. And you had to walk away. So that's where you turned your back at when it comes to this person. And you're not going to be a fool anymore. But that's at the bottom of the deck right now. But the GPS um, is this person doesn't have access to you. So either you moved away, walked away, or just totally cut off access. This card tried to come out unsure strength because you had to cut off access or move away because you didn't have the strength to be able to face this person or to allow this person to keep coming back into your life. And that's the reason why you had to block them from the spam, that, you know, and put them in the spam energy and, you know, block their calls and text messages because you weren't going to have the strength to be able to work on yourself and to do the work with them being able to, you know, you being able to have access to them, meaning, um, or excuse me, them having access to you and you thinking about them and you know that they're going to leave you hanging. So that's the reason why you had to recognize your strengths. Let's clarify the strength energy. You had to unsure energy. Yeah, Ace of Cups energy, especially when it comes to new opportunities and love. You had to really just get out there and be able to, excuse me, and be able to have some type of self-love and just kind of repress the energies of them having access to you, if that makes sense. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups and the strength energy. Yeah, you couldn't give them access to you anymore. So the only thing that you could do was to move away. Yeah, more <laughs> energy, Page of Swords energy, because you had the clarity, uh, unsure energy. You had the clarity and you had everything that you wanted to do. But again, you know, you had to, it's like you were all talk and no action. And so instead of being that way, and also understanding that, you know, um, you were curious about the way that the future may be with this person or trying to hold on because you don't know what the future holds. If you walk away, you had to, and let's clarify again, the strength, the Ace of Cups and the Page of Swords energy, which all came out unsure. You had to just walk away, and that's basically why you had to turn your back uh, with the toxic energies when it comes to love. But now... The card that comes over is the justice energy consequences of their actions you know that was because of the consequences of their actions uh six of swords energy you had to walk away and that is where you had to block this person's situation and move forward and that's the hard part that you had to go through and sometimes we have to go through that in order for us to be able to maintain and to be able to um figure out what's next for us and sometimes being in the queen of pentacles energy and also wanting ten of pentacles at the same time you can always manifest more money and things like that but if somebody is leaving you hanging and not giving you the same reciprocation that you give them maybe not the same energy but just if they're not there for you like you're there for them then that's where you have to start protecting your energy and so I, when i say that i'm going to pull from the virtual reality protect your energy to see what comes out to see what you had to protect your energy from and then i'll pull from the yin and yang i don't know if that's what it's called but um this is the type of energies that you need to stay away from yeah secret escort <laughs> a bitch gets the uh, to pay them bills a bitch gots to pay them bills but you had to do what it took uh in order for you to be able to maintain this relationship situation ship this doesn't mean actual i mean it can mean that if that's what it is i'm not gonna knock you um because we got to do what we got to do but at the same time you know this could be you know the way somebody is able to get things done and this is what you were doing in order to maintain 
but um, it was all because you would do anything for this person until you just realized that you're doing this, all this craziness in order to unforgiving. Yeah, in order for you to uh, be with somebody that keeps leaving you hanging and unforgiving. It says, I'm willing to forgive or excuse people's faults or wrong uh, wrongdoings. And so, you know, this is a situation to where you did all of this stuff or you had to, you know, you, you, you put in all this different energy into this person, place, thing, or situation, and you did what it took for you to be able to pay your bills no matter what it is, and this person still left you hanging. So no matter what you did and how how much you move forward, this person will always still leave you on red until, you know, they realize that you walked away and you had to block them in order to focus on yourself, if that makes sense. So that's the strength that you had to have in order to get through this, the card that comes over is the rigid energy. It says inflexible. This is type of energy. Inflexible thoughts and behavior patterns, outdated beliefs, uh, uptight and uncompromising. And so uh, what it tells you to do is keep an open mind, try new things, and uh, try not to take yourself too seriously. Embrace humor and flexibility. So this is where you had to deal with this type of person who had, you know, outdated beliefs and therefore childish yeah they were very childish so that's the reason why you walked away because no matter what you were doing it was still um it's unforgiving for yourself for your emotional energy so um you would do whatever it took to deal with this person or to get the bills paid or to make this person happy and their childish behavior it says immature or lack of experience sheltered adult temper tantrums and puerile puerile I don't know what that means. But anyway, so the only thing that you could do is block them, walk away, and move forward. And forgive yourself because at some point you had to look at things with the three of wands energy being here. You had to look at things in a different perspective. You know, you had to look ahead and understand where the growth was going to come in at and what you were going to do. You weren't going to grow in this situation because you reached a plateau. And therefore, even though a person can miss you and the actual reality is, is that they always left you hanging and so that's the reason why their rigid energy, you always second guess yourself and now the consequences of their actions, which means that you had to turn your back and understand where the toxicity lied at when it came to the matters of your heart and walk away twice comes out here. We have the eight of cups and we have the six of swords energy. So again, block them because they left you hanging and that's just that. And no matter what you were going to, what you had to do, you were going to get the bills paid and you were going to manifest things. Hopefully wish with, with the wish that it would be, you know, you guys could do it together, but that wasn't the case. You had to, you know, the unsure things about the memories of the past you had to have clarity in regards to why it is that you had to do the work for yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull from the crystal deck the way I'm going to do it now. Instead of shuffling, I'm going to pull through here. And also for the four agreements, uh, I'll pull out of here. And if you want to know what the chakras are, then I'll put the uh, link up above. And then also for the four agreements as well, you can click on that. So we have don't make assumptions and the tree agate. The tree agate is earth connections, inner peace and stability. The, um, Four agreements is be with, uh, don't make assumptions, sorry. Beware of unconscious assumptions. So uh, this says assumptions are made so fast and unconsciously most of the time because we have agreements to communicate this way. We have agreed that it is not safe to ask questions. We have agreed that people, that if people love us, they should know what we want and how we feel. And so that's the part of why the Queen of Swords came out. Was it the Queen of Swords? Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. There it is. The Queen of Swords came out because this person left you hanging because you weren't clear with what it is that you wanted. You made assumptions that they would just understand, but they left you hanging all the time when what you wanted was a family. And you finally started to say it when you got the courage or whatever that you would do anything in order to get the bills paid to make them happy. But at the same time, they weren't on the same accord as you. So the tree agate is the heart and the crown chakra. Again, click up at the link if you want to know my perspective on it. Earth connection, inner peace, and stability. And that's all you want is inner peace and stability and to have an earth connection with the universe to be able to understand and to trust in um, yourself and the decisions that you make 
the um, back of the card, which is the affirmation. It says, I am connected to the natural, natural cycles of life. I am connected to the natural cycles of life. And that's the tree agate that's right here. So let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.